All right, guys, so this is kind of the basic layout of the 722.3 transmission. So what you have right here is the uh, friction discs and the steel plates for the reverse gear. As you can see, it just slides over this. Just like that, and it can't move. That's reverse gear. Okay. There's actually not a drum on that, so I can show you reverse gear. But, essentially how this transmission works is, you know, you can spin it from the input shaft. And, it, and there's usually a drum here. What the drum looks like, and this is whatever you get the, whenever you get the drag on your transmission, this is caused by the brake band. So this kind of slows you down when you let your foot off the pedal. So you see how that's kind of splined? Goes into right in there. So it fits perfectly, just kind of notches. Alright. So then this, and you'll actually also have one on the front. You'll have one on the front, you know, about right here. So that's that's first gear, first and second, third and fourth, and then this is the rotating assembly, as you can see. So when you spin it, So this is held together by a big old C-clip. These are the guide springs for it. Kind of locating tabs for it. It's kind of it kind of rides on that plastic bearing a little bit. And then after that, okay. Now we're going for. There we go. So there's this connects to it as well. Don't know what to call that. There's also a gear that goes inside this that holds it together and connects. It's like the connector coupling of everything. You got this gear set, four of them, or five, or five, whatever. And then you got this one, it's also a gear. And the way that rides is actually in here. So, let's go ahead and put that back in so you guys can see.
See how it turns? So, so it turns the smaller gears, which then turn the bigger gears, which in turn rotate everything else. So yeah, try and go over the valve body next.